Jehovah, the God of love, gave mankind the Bible so that we can be guided in what is right and wrong and live the best way of life in the moral confusion of the society that surrounds us. For example, Jehovah directed that wives should be loved by their husbands and widows should be looked after if they are suffering economic difficulties. It tells fathers to protect their daughters from prostitution and it warns that any family member who does not care and provide for his household is worse than a person who has abandoned the Christian faith. Jehovah says that a man should feed and cherish his woman as he does himself. No genuine Christian can be accused of being an abuser of women because the genuine Christian fears Jehovah God and the punishment he will bring on those who mistreat others. On the other hand, Jehovah loves men who he created in his own image and he gave instructions to women about how they should treat a man. The scripture that modern translators have watered down to deep respect actually says in the original Greek, a wife must fear her husband. If the man fears God and the woman fears her husband, everyone respects the standards and everyone is happy. Jehovah created men with distinctive features such as a facial beard to distinguish the man from the woman. Dignity and power were given to the man and Jehovah views him as the head of the male and female relationship. Beauty and gentleness were given to the woman and Jehovah described her as the body of the two. The male and female are different and were not created equally and that is why the Bible uses the illustration of the head and body. Modern feminists do not like this and the world of Satan will judge this as something evil. But the Bible teaches us what is natural and beneficial for all of us. Accepting its guidance is healthy for us and will give us the best way of life. Regarding the difference between male and female in the Christian congregation, the Apostle Paul said in 1 Timothy chapter 2 verses 11 to 13, Let a woman learn in quietness in all subjection, but I do not permit a woman to teach, nor to ignore the authority of the man, but to be in quietness. For Adam was formed first, then Eve. This quote from the Holy Bible shows that these are not the viewpoints of Empire of Jehovah or myself, but are the standards of Almighty Jehovah who created us. Because the head loves the body, he guides her so that she can know what to do to maintain peace in the marriage and have a happy family life. Feminists who reject this biblical counsel will find that they do not have peace with the opposite sex and in many cases will turn to the same sex because they get tired of all the conflict that exists between the woman and the man. So the Bible says what it says for the benefit and happiness of everyone. But Satan does not want anybody to be happy. He is filled with hatred of mankind and wants to destroy humans and offend their creator as much as possible by getting society to do the opposite of what Jehovah has directed. So today we have a society which is getting more and more disrespectful of the man and his God-given position. Women are becoming more and more disrespectful and in some cases even abusive to men. The world continues to protect such women and recent cases in court have seen women being acquitted for killing their husband or father. The court has accepted the defence that the man was abusive 
and that the woman's killing was in self-defense. We accept that some men are abusive to their women, but we are also sure that if a man were to kill a woman and then plead it was self-defense, the court would be unlikely to accept his defense. The propaganda of equality is a farce. There is no equality. The world puts women up on a pedestal and men are put down as something worthless and deserving of no respect. Men are constantly humiliated and made to feel worthless. Women have lost their appreciation of men and look at them as if they were nothing. This stabs the good man in the heart because a good man only wants to love a woman. His desire to love her is thrown back in his face with a shocking malice and hatred. The suicide rate of men ending their lives is increasing because the heart of man, which is made in God's image, wants love and warmth to exist between him and his woman. But those women who have been deceived by tax-craving governments are no longer satisfied by their man and what he has to give them. They want to get everything themselves and love themselves, and so they have made the man obsolete. So-called Christian organizations have also adopted the world's attitudes and propaganda and have proved to be completely apostate. Men have looked up to those who have claimed to be Jehovah's representatives and have been shocked and discouraged to see that those so-called Christians have betrayed them and sold them to the goddess of feminism. They did not speak up for the men, but told them to get on their knees before their new idol. They have proved that they do not love their brother whatsoever, and neither do they hate the world and its opposition to Jehovah's ways. Men, it's time to take a stand. You are not obsolete in Jehovah's eyes. Jehovah loves you. His standards still stand. We have not been authorized by God to take any physical action against feminists, but we must take a firm stand. We must respect ourselves and the standards that Jehovah God has given us. When ordered by a woman to do something, each one must look to his conscience, and if his conscience so directs, he must be prepared to say a firm no. If a woman or one of her idolaters starts speaking or acting disrespectfully towards us, we must take our leave, separate ourselves from such people, and do not accept it. Men of this wicked world have proved to be complete failures in standing up against feminism. Because, as the Bible says, the whole world is in the power of the wicked one, the men of the world have been led into feminism and have submitted to it because of their fear of being different or being opposed. It's now time to be courageous and strong. Do not fear to stand out as different and say, I do not accept your ways, I live by God's standards. I do not accept the attitude of men-haters, I demand some respect. As we see society continue to break down and family life continue to get more and more painful, it is the responsibility of men to take a stand against feminists and slow down the destruction of mankind that Satan is causing. Of course, we will not be able to halt the deterioration of this world. Jehovah will have to step in. He has promised to do that, and the Bible shows us that that is going to happen soon. All wicked people who do what Satan wants them to do will be destroyed and will be gone from this earth. Even though they will hate anyone who tells them this, they will be gone, and Jehovah's true people will live on this earth in an eternal paradise of peace and happiness. The Jehovites of Empire of Jehovah are intensely hated for their stand against feminists. But we will continue to call for the end of feminism and all forms of idolatry that offends Jehovah. We will continue to obey the command of Jehovah in Ezekiel chapter 13 verse 17, Son of man, set your face against the daughters of your people who are acting as prophetesses out of their own heart, and prophesy against them. 
Woe to those who call themselves Jehovah's people, but speak the twisted propaganda of feminism. Only by speaking against such feminists can a prophet prove to be a true prophet of Jehovah. Those who fail to do so will be removed with all the other false prophets of Babylon the Great. We know that Jehovah's ways are best for everyone, including women. Only by following Jehovah's standards can a woman be truly happy. All those who accuse us of being women-haters are liars and slanderers like their father Satan. Take your stand with us. Stand up to feminist women and their pathetic idol-worshippers. Join us at Empire of Jehovah and bow down to the true God only, Jehovah the King.